very much for the call. You're welcome. No problem. Bye. All right, folks, uh, 15 minutes left in the, sh in the show. If you would like to get in touch with us here in the studio, give us a ring in the last 15 minutes. Myself and Robert Green here in the studio. Uh, 0161 202 1677. That is 0161 202 1677. And as I was just saying, please go to that Facebook group page. There are 12,000 members and growing. And, of course, the, that group was actually taken down by Facebook last week, and then it was reinstated. Now, I'm not sure, obviously, of the politics that went on behind the scenes, but someone had it pulled and someone reinsta uh, reinstated it there. So go to Facebook. Uh, we won't allow the state to cover up the Holly Gregg pedophile scandal. 12,000 members right at, right at the top there. You have a link, which I have just posted this very second, and it is the full audio of all the interviews which you have heard with Anne Gregg tonight. All right, then coming up before the end of the show, we're going to actually have two minutes of an interview I did with Holly Gregg herself. Of course, Holly has Down syndrome, but she's still a very clever girl, and she's still able to answer some of the questions I put to her, and uh, it's, it's heart-touching, heart, it's heart so just listen up for that. Uh, but right now, we're going to go to the last little part. It's only one minute long, and this is just where I asked Anne Gregg what she would like to see done uh, about this whole affair. What would you like to, to see happen in the future regarding everything from... Your brother's death to Dennis Mackey to um, Holly. What would you like to see in the future in an, in an ideal world? In an ideal world, I want everyone brought to book. I want this whole thing to be thoroughly investigated. I want all the, the, the bodies that have written documents, uh, you know, and lied to be held to book and, you know, someone to be held accountable for all of this. Because this has destroyed my daughter's life and my life. And how many more little boys and girls are maybe having to go through that right now? And in your opinion, the Scottish legal system has let you down drastically? As far as I'm concerned, it's rotten to the core. Absolutely damning uh, interview there with Anne Gregg. And thank you so much to Anne for doing that with me. I know that it took a lot of courage and... We're talking about such sensitive information here and she was very forthcoming and uh, hopefully you enjoyed listening to that tonight. That was the last part of that interview. But as I say, it is available online on Facebook. Uh, we won't allow the state to cover up the Holly Gregg pedophile scandal and it is on there now if you want to go and listen to that. There are 10 minutes left. If anyone else out there would like to get in touch on the phone, we'd really like to hear from you. 0161 202 1677. We've got a call coming in now. Manchester Radio Online, what would you like to say? Oh, hello, it's David again here. I was on here. I was actually beat up by one of my cr the criminals in Aberdeen here, and I find it very funny that Holly got all this money, because when I was beat up, it took the police five weeks to go along and get hold of this guy. Then when I applied for criminals' injuries money, they, had, they wrote to Grampian Police seven times over a two-year period to ask if I had a criminal record, which I don't have. A... So they were delaying and delaying and delaying in the case. I had a crime file number, I had photographs of the injuries, I had doctor's reports, and I had so much difficulty to get money with all that reports and evidence, yet I'm good at it with no crime file number. This is really, really funny. So basically, you, you, were, you were a victim of crime, you got no money. And I got money, but it, it took me two years. Yeah. yeah. And uh, do you think it's suspicious that uh, Holly has been given this money when they still say that there's no crime being committed? That's it's very funny because I had to have doctor support, I had the police support, I had the crime file numbers, they had they accessed all my medical records. Uh, in, when at the Criminals Injuries Compensation Board, I put in a letter to my doctor, a mandate, giving him access to my medical records. On, after I signed it, I put down in the bottom of the letter, only my medical records from the time of the assault. I then found out that my doctor had given all the medical records to the Criminals Injuries Compensation Board. I went along there to find out why, and he showed me the letter. The Criminals Injuries Compensation Board removed the part underneath my signature. It said, only my medical records from the time of my assault. So the Criminals Injuries Compensation Board removed that, and they accessed all my medical records. Well, uh, David, we, we appreciate your input tonight, and we know that you've... Uh been on the brunt of a lot of uh, wrongdoings from Grampian Police, so we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. No worries, sir. Thank you very much. Bye. All right, then. Uh, just under 10 minutes left in the show. We're going to go through a couple of emails now. Uh, this one is, I think it's from Steve. It says, Hi, I have emailed several prominent people in Scotland, including Alex Salmon, but I've heard nothing back. I did, however, receive an email from George Galloway, and he said he was looking into the case. 
A few days later, the Palestine Telegraph picked up the story. God bless Holly and Robert and all who are trying to get this story out. Thanks, Steve, and I uh, appreciate that there, uh, Steve. Uh, also, let me see what we've got here. Uh, great show tonight. It's about time the general public stood up to be counted. We do have a voice, and I couldn't agree with you more with that. This story is about this. The story about this is going global. No one will silence the campaigners. This spreads further than Scotland. It's rife. Robert Green is not alone in speaking out. Over 12,000 people in the field. This isn't going to go away until there's a proper investigation. Why hasn't there been a revolution already? Maybe it's coming. That's from Benny. Thank you so much for that e email, Benny, and that's great words of encouragement to myself and Robert. Robert, would yes. you like to comment? Yes, I would, but thank you very much, Benny. That is wonderful what you've had to say, and uh, let's hope that we can get lots of people working together. I would uh, just like to say at this point to you, Benny, and everyone else who's listening, that it ha certainly hasn't been a solo effort on my part. Uh, there's been a number, right from the start, there's been a small number of dedicated, brave, and highly intelligent people who have all helped in many, many ways. So um, I'd just like to thank them very much publicly for all the help that they've given and continue to give in this case. Going back to this uh, Facebook group page, uh, it's on fire at the moment, and it's, on, it's been on fire for quite a while now, as long as I've uh, known about it. Uh, loads of people already picking up the podcast uh, of tonight's show. It's not the podcast of tonight's show, as it were. It's more 30 minutes exclusive interview just with the original interview I did with Anne Gregg, which is split up into like 10 parts, and we played it on the show tonight. So we're almost out of time. What we've got to play now is uh, a, a, the actual recording of an interview I did with Holly Gregg herself. Now, folks, uh, we've been talking about Holly all night long, so this is... Uh, Kind of little little chat I had with Holly uh, a bit earlier on in the week. Turn your radio up, listen to this. What would you like to see to happen to your dad? I want to say enough, enough, enough. <laughs> I'm a headache. No more daughter anymore. What would you like to happen to daddy? He's in jail. In jail? You deserve to be in jail? Yes. Yeah. And what about the other people? What, what do you think? Do they deserve to be in jail too? Yes, a whole lot. Do you miss your Uncle Roy? Yes. And what, what do you think? Do you think? Do you remember the day that your Uncle Roy caught your dad with you? Yes. What do you think Uncle Roy said to your dad? I do you dare bring her again? Uh, kind of. Yeah, can you remember the people that was doing things? In Helen's house. And anyone else's house? Yes, Sylvia. And anyone else's house? And when Evelyn. And was your dad there every time, or was sometimes you there on your own? Yeah. You were sometimes there on your own? Yeah. And would your dad bring you there and then go away? Yeah. And your carer would take you to someone's house and leave you there? Yes. And, and when you were there, bad things would happen? Yes. And then would your dad come back and pick you up? Yes. What, what, what would you like to say to anyone? You know, some people have set up the Facebook group. You know, some people's on the internet trying to raise awareness and trying to get justice for you. What message have you got for them? Thank you. That's, that's, I'm sure a lot of people will be glad to hear that. Yeah. And you, you appreciate and you know that people, this is a message from me and everyone else that's trying to help you that we're just saying that we support you and we're going to do all we can to get justice for you, right? Yes. Yeah. You're a very brave girl. Yes. Yeah. There you go, folks. Deep stuff. That was Holly Gregg herself speaking to me a bit earlier on in the week. We're pretty much out of time. Robert, anything you would like to add before we go? Uh, very little, apart from thanking everybody so much for all your support. And you, you've got two wonderful ladies there, Holly Gregg and her mum Anne. They really are terrific. They deserve every support that can be given to them. And uh, I do thank you all for your kindness and your good wishes and your bravery as well. Thank you so much. And on behalf of everyone listening and myself, Robert, uh, good luck with everything. Good luck with your court case. And uh, hopefully they don't come after you again. And uh, I mean, to an extent, you do encourage this court case because it'll just highlight the case further. Well, it will, yes. <laughs> I bring but, it on is what I say. <laughs> but hopefully you don't have to see the inside of a cell again because that is a uh, oh, definitely. Keep your fingers crossed, don't you? <laughs> don't, don't say that yet. We haven't been outside yet. We <laughs> no, don't, we don't. Paul, any, any police waiting for us out there? No. <laughs>
Check it out. We'll send somebody to check. We've got a couple of bodyguards here. We'll be all right. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much to everybody who's got in touch. The MSN has been packed out tonight. The phones were busy. Thank you to everyone who got in touch through the email as well and, and the Facebook. And, uh, yeah, just thank you very much, Robert Green. Thank you very much indeed, Tony. And thanks for doing a great show and helping to highlight these things. We wish people had as much courage as you have. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. All right, then, folks. I'll be back again next week. Uh, with more stories to tell and more shocking things needing uncovered.